What's up everybody, Josiah Music, aka Producer Noob. Today is going to be part one of a review on AOA Music Library's many sample packs. I'm going to be reviewing four sample packs in either a two-part series or a four-part series, depending on how long it'll take for each one. Today, I'm just going to be going over like a little snippet of how each sample from each pack sounds and we're gonna be looking at two projects I started with them. I haven't mixed the projects, so just a heads up for headphone users. And also, um, I used a lot of unison drum loops and either pitch them down, reverse them, time stretch them, or all of the above. It's just to help set the vibe, and I was kind of in a rush. So yeah, there might not be too much to cover in this video. We're going to start by listening to some of the stuff. This is from volume one. It's a vibe and these are the compositions. Cat tried to tell me something new. I said, listen, yeah. There are more stains in heaven than earth. Then I jumped up. Also, each one of these individual ones I played, like Black Mirror, um, You Know My Name, ETC, each of them come with a stem. So the stems for them are the individual parts that made up these that you heard earlier. Who so, cat tried to tell me something? So like certain parts so it'll say this is from a Rhodes this is from a fretless bass this is a glockenspiel this is another Rhodes this is another Rhodes but it's basically saying that these parts were sequenced together to make that so if I were to drag out all these parts you see how there's these big pauses that's because these are where certain parts of that sample plays so this part of the black mirror came from that versus this fretless bass you can see a lot more waves but you definitely see gaps where there is no waves that's because it's coming in at different parts it's sequenced that way to make the overall composition section but yeah so each one of these samples will have a composition part where you could just, you know, sample using all the parts that made up that sample. Or you could take certain stems. I did stems for these beats that I'm going to be showing the projects I started. I used stems. So that was volume one. We're going to look at a little bit of volume two. And then we're going to get into the compositions before we do anything else. I don't want this to be too long of a video. So volume one was called It's a Vibe. Volume two is live in New Orleans. So a lot of these are like inspired. Like this one I can tell was inspired from that one song. You always call, answer when I call, when I call, you come. Or however that song goes. But you could definitely tell the inspiration is there. <laughs> Great live instrumentation. That's an excellent saxophone. I actually used that 2 a.m. somewhere. I used it in this beat that I'll show you.
I also use this one, you'll see in the next project. We're gonna check out volume three. We're just gonna check them all out. I know I said we don't only look at two, but we might as well. And we're just looking at the compositions right now. I could show you the stems in part two to this video. So if you haven't been able to notice yet, Volume 3 is inspired by classic PlayStation 2 games such as Bully, Tomb Raider, hence the names Dante's Inferno. Kingdom Hearts 1 is nice. I can't hear Okami. It's probably something very subtle that'll be in the section. I'll drag it out. Yeah, I knew it. Mm. Yo, that's crazy. Dope. That's Silent Hill. Spiral. Dragon Quest. Shouts out to Japan. Zelda. Now the most interesting um, one out of the four sample packs I'm going to show you is probably the Western. This one isn't for your traditional um, producer. This is for people who like produce and make scores for like films, in my opinion. A lot of it is inspired from like old Westerns like Gunsmoke and Bat Masterson. If you're old, you know what that is. You know you get those vibes You get those This town ain't big enough for the both of us type vibes I like that You heard that whip? Bullseye's nice Stars nice. That's actually a useful world sound cloud rapper type vibe. I like the title. No, I'm Dirty Dan. SpongeBob vibes there. So let's start getting into the projects I made inspired by these samples. So this one is from the 2AM guitar. It was a really dope sample. I liked it. So I threw it in there. This is how the original sounded. So that's how that one sounded. It was really dope. I really switched the vibe for this. I gave it more like a reggae-ish type feel. For this project and the other project I'm going to show you, you are going to see where it says Unison. That's because most of the percussion was from Unison. I'm not a big fan of Unison, but for the sake of time, I really wanted to just see what I could do and experiment. So you will see unison. It'll always either be time stretched, reversed, faded, or pitched. It's only for the majority of percussion. Um, I have some original parts in here, like this chord progression that I used with virtual power. I guess I'll let you hear that real quick and before we get into it. And there's no volume. Where are you? Why are you turned down? Oh, that's why. Animation clip. Okay. 
<laughs> Dang, I kind of gave away the intro a little bit. So we're just gonna go and play all the parts that have virtual power. Yeah, you get the point. I had one other virtual power right here. This isn't from virtual power pattern six that you hear. That's from Flex. Um, I have one other thing from Flex, and then we're gonna listen to the whole beat because I really want you to hear the whole beat. This isn't really supposed to be about virtual power. That video is coming soon. I want this to really be focused on just the samples. I actually don't like that sound, so I might cut that out, but that's from Flex. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, yeah, just ignore that part in the beat. And this isn't mixed, by the way. This is just something quick I came up with. One of the great parts about these sample packs is you can draw inspiration really fast. Like both of the experiments I'm gonna show you that I started, I did in like five minutes max. This is how I flipped the sample. <laughs> This is the same thing. I don't know why I have it twice. Versus the original, which I showed you already. And yeah, this is the whole track for this one. Yeah, that was a dope track, but this is definitely a track that's just in the beta stages. I might post the full version of this where it's mixed, maxed, stirred, maybe some more transitions. You know, like the full arrangement in the future video. I'm going to go ahead and click off and then go to the next project real quick. And yeah. All right. This video is already extremely long. It's about 15 minutes so far. So we're going to click through this quick. This was the sample I took. I just pitched it down. Um, let's clone it real quick. You've already heard this in the composition part. This is, this project is like all the stems for that. So I used the stems, I used unison for all the percussion this time. Um, nothing really too fancy, you know, you got like a reverse part with the unison or whatever, but it's not about that. Um, I pitched the sample, but this was really just me dragging in the stems just to showcase that 
it already comes with transitions already in and they're already dope like you don't need much to make these bangers they're already bangers like the only different stuff i may have added is outside of the pitch down is reversing certain parts which you will hear and of course i added like some low chords down here with virtual power shouts out to virtual power that video is coming soon we're gonna listen to this and then we'll wrap up Alright, there you have it guys. That's the end of part one to the review of all four AOA Music Library sample packs that I've purchased. Um, I'm sorry if I crammed a lot into this time frame. I didn't want to make this too long. Maybe part two will be longer and a more in detail video. And if you guys like longer videos, I'll start making them. But I kind of rushed through this and I didn't get a chance to really mix because I was in a tight time frame. But I hope I was able to demonstrate to full capacity like how great these are because these are really great for what you pay for you get a lot for $15 as you can tell um I'm gonna link their channel and their website down below in the description and definitely check them out they're really dope and if I'm correct they're black owned so yeah help us out <laughs> always support your black owned businesses all right, everybody have a blessed one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm out.